Ah, okay, 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 okay. There you have it. So, eh, it's actually quite late right now, but it's actually 12 midnight East African time. And boy, oh boy, Arsenal, you guys are going to kill him. You guys are going to give me a heart attack, man. What's wrong with you people, Bana? Huh? So, Arsenal 1, uh, Shakhtar 0. And uh, where do we begin from? Honestly, for a moment, actually, when we started this game, it was one of those games that I was, you know, I was just chilled. I was like, okay, today, this might just be another PSG game. This might just be another, uh, which game, which game have we played by the cool this season? This might just be another, you know, Leicester game. Actually, the Leicester game was actually stressing the same, same way this game has stressed me out. But listen, we started very well playing the first half. Better, let me actually just say the first, uh, the first 17 minutes we played, okay? But then after the few changes being brought on board, Thomas Partey going to the right back. Uh, Merino coming in, and uh, who else? And uh, Califiori getting an injury. First of all, by the let me just let me actually just talk about Califiori. Now the thing is this: I'm still I'm still keeping him off the hook because it's relatively new in the Premier League. But uh, I'm seeing. Listen, he still hasn't fitted in the Premier League very well, uh, much as what uh, we really anticipated because. Honestly, he's been getting, he's getting done. He's been getting done in the, in the, you know, in the Premier League. He's been getting done in the Champions League. Nearly cost us a goal before actually getting an injury. Hopefully, by the injury, is nothing serious. He gets to shake it off. But I'm actually quite worried with him because usually when you see a player going to the, going to the bench, you'll be like, okay, maybe this is something that they could shake off. But he went directly by the, to the tunnel. So we hope it's nothing serious. Man, we've been having a pile of injuries. Bukayo Saka injured, Odigat injured, uh, Tom Yasu. We have a pile of injuries, and you can't just afford to lose another player. So Ben White also came off by there. Uh, he was actually he was brought off. Uh, he didn't play in the second half, so I hope probably maybe it's also not an injury. But uh, honestly, looking at this game, it's not looking good. If if you continue playing this way, if you continue playing this way, then I'm I'm actually even worried. I'm worried about the, the the Liverpool game. You know what today has proved is there's some players who are actually quite very important in this team. Players like Odegaard, you know, play a very huge role. You know, in the creative midfield. Players like Bukayo Saka, no Bukayo Saka, no party. I mean, let's just let's not lie, lie to ourselves, man. That those players in this team that, with their absence, you can definitely tell that something is missing. Something's missing. Sterling, man. Uh, listen, this guy, this guy needs to decide if he's still mentally. I don't know if he's still at Chelsea, because man, Sterling, for the time he came in, he actually came in the second half. I think he was given like thirty minutes in the game. Really didn't see much of him. Uh, but one player that I might say, but they, I, I must, I must actually give him his flowers today. Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus played. Good football today. I mean, the time he came in before he was subbed off, Gabriel Jesus actually, he honestly deserved a flash today. That is one player that I was actually impressed with. In fact, I was actually even chatting with somebody in the, in the the comment section. Today, the way Gabriel Jesus played, it more like reminded me of the time when he was, you know, when he was still near Arsenal, you know. Yes, he was on scoring, but he was creating havoc, creating problems whether for the defense. So, I mean, Jesus, if you continue playing the way you're playing, then... Uh, I mean, you'll continue getting flowers from me and most of the fans. I mean, that one, you have to be very honest. You just played a very good game today. Harvard's running around the whole time. Really didn't see much of him. Trust that. How the hell do you miss a penalty, man? Anyway, listen, let me not be too emotional. You know, that's one thing with us and our fans. We tend to be emotional. Uh, the positive thing you can take out of this game is that, you know, we've won. And currently, I'm actually looking at, uh, we are sitting... We're number four in the Champions League table, Aston Villa leading. Uh, but we need to saw some things. If we really want to win a significant cup, uh, the manager, I think we need another Dubai. <laughs> Honestly, we need another Dubai. Because what I'm seeing right now uh, just reminds me of, you know, last season. Last season, but the, the first leg, we're not playing good football, by the way. We're just... We're, you know, winning games but not really playing good football. Then went to Dubai, just came back, you know. 
I think we need a, we need another Dubai because the way these guys are playing, we played so well. I mean, for this game, we played so well, so 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 well. Yeah, in the first seventy minutes, then few changes here and there. <sighs> Merino, that's also another player that you know I also have to talk about. Still giving him time, still you know trying to fit in the team, but honestly speaking, uh, the guy's like a trailer. The guy's like a double decker bus. His agility, he has zero agility. Too slow, too lethargic. In fact, even Eugene is actually even faster than him. Yeah. So listen, probably maybe I'm being too critical on these players. Uh, let me actually just be positive. At least we've won the game. Currently sitting number four. But the truth is this: it's not just a matter of winning the game; it's how you win the game. You play like this against Liverpool. Man, these guys might actually punish us. I mean, that, that Liverpool game, but they will give us a baseline of knowing exactly, you know, where we are, yeah? It will give us a baseline of knowing exactly where we are. But, yo, we need to, we need to, there are cracks, there are cracks in that team, and we need to honestly, sorry, we need to patch that up, yeah? But anyway, we move to the next one. The next game, it's Liverpool. Uh, it's a home game, actually, a home game again versus Liverpool. Come on, you goodness. Get serious, man. Get serious. Mikel, set up your team properly. Be seeing guys then. Come on, you goodness. Oh, 